Hi boys and girls, it's Miss Brannis and we're here with another Golden Sower. And today's Golden Sower is called the Donkey Egg. It is written and illustrated by Janet Stevens and Susan Stevens Crummel. And I think you're going to enjoy this book. Looking, of course, at the spine label, you all know that that E means it's an everybody book, so we know it's fiction. It's on the everybody fiction shelves. And it's the first three letters of the author's last name, which is S-T-E. So again, don't forget to look at those spine labels when you check out a book. Here we have our little starring page. So we have starring Bear, who was old, lazy, cranky, worked hard once, but not anymore. And he needs some motivation. We have Hare, who's friendly, speedy, always running, wants a rematch with Tortoise. Then we have the blanket, warm, dramatic, hides things, multi-talented, has a checkered past. We have Fox, clever, loves to play tricks, looking for mischief and some quick cash. Then we have the egg, green, mysterious. What's inside? and a cameo appearance by Donkey. Where did he come from? Up on the hill lived a grumpy old bear. His farm was a wreck and it needed repair. But Bear didn't care. He just slept in his chair and growled at his neighbors, Fox and Hare. Grrr. Wake up, bear, cried Fox. I know you want to turn this place back into a mighty farm, grow some fine crops, and have a mighty fine life. But you need to help, and I've got just the thing. Grrr, growled bear. What thing? Ta-da! A donkey! That's not a donkey, cried Bear. Not yet, but it will be, said Fox. It's a donkey egg. A genuine, certified donkey egg. Still green. It has to ripen and hatch. And that's where you come in. Keep it warm, safe, and happy, like a mama bird in her nest. It will take time. Minutes, hours, days, weeks, months. So be patient. Then voila, a donkey. As you know, Bear, lots of animals come from eggs. Dinosaurs, chickens, platypuses, alligators, and donkeys. It's the truth. I can see it now. Your fields are plowed. Your house is painted. You and your donkey sitting on the porch watching the sunset. What a deal. And it's a steal. Today only at $19.95. No way, said Bear. Fox eyed. Okay, I'll sell for that $20 bill. Sold. It's a done deal. Fox scooped up the cash, disappeared in a flash. And all was left was Bear in his chair. And a gigantic green donkey egg. <sighs> that fast-talking fox, muttered Bear. Now what am I supposed to do? Then he remembered, keep it warm. So like a big mama bird, Bear carefully sat, this way and that. He sat and he sat, tickety-tock, quick of the clock, minutes passed, no donkey. Did you know that one minute equals 60 seconds? It takes about a second to sneeze, achoo! A hummingbird's wings beat about 70 times in one second. 
so fast that you can hardly see them moving. It takes about a minute for an ice cream cone to melt on a hot day. It takes about two minutes to brush your teeth. Neighbor Hare had just begun his daily run when she screeched to a halt. Bear, you're out of your chair. I'm sitting on my donkey's egg, growled Bear. What? Donkeys don't come from eggs. Yes, they do, cried Bear, like dinosaurs, chickens, alligator, platypuses, even tortoises. I'm keeping it warm so it'll hatch. Been sitting on it for a whole hour. No donkey! Well, you keep sitting and I'll keep running, said Hare. Got another race with Tortoise. Off went Hare, leaving Bear to sit. And sit, and sit. Must it quit? Tickety tock, clickety clock, hours passed, no donkey. Did you know one hour equals 60 minutes equals 3,600 seconds? It takes the spider about an hour to spin a fancy web. You blink your eye over 1,000 times in an hour. Your heart beats over 5,000 times in an hour. What do I do now? Then Bear remembered. Keep it safe. Bear cradled the egg and sang. rock a -bye, donkey, my little one. Ripen and hatch, there's work to be done. If there is danger, I will be there. You'll be my donkey, I'll be your bear. Again, Hare screeched to a halt. Bear. You're rocking and singing in your chair? I'm keeping my donkey egg safe, replied Bear. Been rocking all day, no donkey. Well, you keep rocking and I'll keep running, said Hare. Gotta win the race. Off went Hare, leaving Bear to rock. Zoom! And rock and rock. Rickety rock, tickety talk, crickety clock, days passed, no donkey. Did you know one day equals 24 hours equals 1,440 minutes equals 86,400 seconds? One day is about how long it takes the earth to spin all the way around on its axis. Most chickens lay one egg per day. Bamboo can grow up to almost three feet a day. If you grew three feet in a day, just in one week, you would be taller than a house. Kids laugh about 300 times in one day. Grown-ups only laugh about 17 times. what? Then Bear remembered. Keep it happy. He told Egg a tale of a girl and three bears. Fables with tortoises, foxes, and hares. Bear acted out plays where he played every part again and again till he knew them by heart. Bear pointed his toes as he leaped through the air. He played peekaboo, hiding under his chair. For the third time, Hare screeched to a halt. Bear, you're under your chair. I'm playing with my donkey egg, said Bear, keeping it happy so it'll hatch. 
been playing all week. Still no donkey. But there will be, Bear grinned. So you keep running and I'll keep playing. I'm going to hatch that hang, egg and you're going to beat that tortoise. Off went Hera leaving Bear to play and play and play night and day. Tickety tock, click, clickety clock, weeks passed, no donkey. Zoom. Did you know one week equals seven days equals 168 hours equals 10,080 minutes equals 604,000 800 seconds. A mama hummingbird takes about a week to build her tiny nest, which is about the size of a ping pong ball. It's about, about, about that size. A mama eagle takes over two weeks to build her giant nest, which is eight feet wide, and that helps. It takes about a week for a snake to shed its entire skin. Humans gradually shed their skin about seven million skin cells in a week. Through the wind and the rain and the snow, Bear stayed. He sang, he sat, he rocked, he played. He loved that egg with all his heart. Never was there quite a pair Bear and egg, egg and bear. Only napping here and there, bear grew tired, really tired, really, really tired. He couldn't keep from falling, falling fast asleep. <laughs> Plop. Oh no, shouted Bear. Help! Egg on the loose! Hare's ears perked up. Egg on the loose? Hare to the rescue! And the chase was on! It was Egg out in front, Bear close behind, and Hare bringing up the rear. Around the turn, Egg leading, Hare speeding, Bear stampeding. Across the road, Egg tumbling, Hare stumbling, Bear fumbling. Through the field, Bear thrashing, Hare dashing, Egg crashing. Crack. cried Bear. I've got him by the ears. Ouch! Those are my ears, hollered Hare. Can't you see? It's not a donkey's egg. It's a watermelon. But it can't be. Fox said it was a genuine certified donkey egg. <gasps> Fox? gasped Hare. You believe Fox? Bear hung his head. <laughs> he tricked me. Fox tricked me. No donkey egg. No baby donkey. No nothing. There wasn't a sound as Bear looked around. And there on the ground, guess what he found. had an idea. I got work to do. Well, you start working and I'll... Hare paused. Oh, who cares about a silly old race? For hours, then days, Bear and Hare tilled the land. They weeded and planted and watered by hand. 
For weeks, then months, the plants grew and grew. May, June, July, they were growing into, did you know, one month equals 31 days or 30 days or 29 days or 28 days, depends on the calendar year. 12 months equals 365 days, which is one year. It takes a whole year for the earth to travel around the sun. Your hair grows about a half an inch per month, which means six inches per year. A mama donkey carries a baby donkey in her body for about a year before it is born. Of course, you already know donkeys don't actually come from eggs. watermelons everywhere to market to market when barren hair to sell those melons and what do they buy ta-da hee-haw hee-haw and bear with donkey and hare to fix up his farm that needed repair. And all that was left was Boys and girls, I hope you enjoyed the donkey egg. I hope you remember to do those activities, and I will see you next week with another Golden Sower. Bye.